Hi guys, welcome back to another cook with me video. Today I'm gonna to be cooking a golden chicken for dinner and it's the morning so I wanna get this started. I'm gonna to need to marinate it all day while I'm at work. Now the recipe does say to marinate it for at least two hours but for me it's easiest just to do it in the morning because I don't get home from work until five o'clock. Now this recipe um, uses um, honey. So it is four servings. So it is gonna be four smart points per serving because of the honey. If you have an alternative to honey that makes it lower smart points, go right ahead and do that. But since the rest of the ingredients are zero smart points, I figured I might as well just go for it and just make the recipe exactly as it is called for. So you're gonna need a quarter cup of honey. Now one thing I always do, with honey is I spray the cup a little bit with some olive oil spray. That way it, um, you can see it comes out really easy. Now one thing this recipe did call for is olive oil. So that is one thing I did change. It called for two tablespoons of olive oil. I tend to leave the oil out of all marinades. So I, didn't, I don't see um, the point in adding those extra um, smart points. So then the next thing you're gonna need is some kind of whole grain mustard. I'm just using the Simple Truth Organic Stone Ground Mustard. And you're going to need three tablespoons of that. Hopefully I have enough. I think I may have some more in, the, in my pantry. If not, I need to get some more because I love mustard. You guys know, if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I love mustard. I buy mustard constantly. And then I have some Dijon mustard, and you need two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Okay, and then you need one tablespoon of turmeric. So that's what why I found this recipe is because you guys know I'm trying new foods out this summer and my new food for this week that I'm trying is turmeric and my spoon won't fit in there. So you need a one tablespoon. This is a half of a tablespoon measuring. Oops, there we go. And then you need one teaspoon of minced garlic. And then we are going to just mix that up and it is very thick and sticky feeling because of the honey, obviously. Now I am out of, I normally would marinate my meat in a gallon size um, Ziploc bag, but I am out and I don't think I have any anywhere. Hold on one second found one okay so what I'm gonna do then is stick my chicken I use these gallon bags in the freezer for frozen fruit for packages of frozen fruit and I just keep them in the freezer so I actually actually had one so so I have about two pounds of chicken tenders here I normally would use chicken breasts or chicken thighs um, but I the store did not have any so I'm just gonna put I'm gonna leave it, I'm just gonna put about a pound and a half there. And there. Oh, I just realized the instruction said to save half of the marinade. I do have a little bit left. So next time save half of the marinade. Because what do you do with it? Um, oh, it's having you put it on a grill which I'm gonna put mine in the oven, so I don't, I don't, won't need them the rest of the marinade. Cause normally it says to, you wanna put it on a grill and then you're just gonna take some of the marinade and brush it on the, oh no. So serve chicken with reserve sauce over salad, zucchini noodles, rice, pasta, or with a crusty piece of bread. So I don't need the extra marinade. So I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator and it'll be ready to go when I get home and then I will just put it into a pan and put it in the oven. So I will show you guys that when I get home from work. So when I got home from work, I decided that I was not going to cook the chicken in the oven. I decided just to put it into a frying pan. So I did spray the pan with a little bit of cooking spray and then just put the 
nicely marinated golden chicken in the pan. I had the pan nice and hot so I could sear it on both sides. So I seared one side, let it cook for about three or four minutes, turned it over and seared the other side for another three or four minutes. And then I just put the lid on to make and lowered the temperature a little bit to make sure that it would cook through. And you guys, this chicken is so good. It is so flavorful, so tender. I served it with a side salad with a little bit of avocado. So I will have the original recipe link down below. I actually did not change much of the recipe besides the fact I did take the olive oil out. So besides that, I just did the recipe, followed it um, to a T. So you guys, let me know if you try this recipe. I just, I cannot say any, good, any more good things about it. So thank you guys for joining me for another cook with me. If you like the types, these types of videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.